ratio of expenditure of x y and z are 16 is to 12 is to 9 and their savings are 20 percent 25 percent and 40 percent of their income if the sum of their income is rupees 3060 find y salary so we have three people x y and z here their expenditure is in the ratio 16 is to 12 is to 9 and their savings are 20 percentage 25 percentage and 40 percentage that means their expenditure are 80 percentage 75 percentage and 60 percentage because you know income is equal to expenditure plus savings income is equal to expenditure plus savings if savings is equal to 20 percentage expenditure will be 80 percentage that is income is equal to 100 percentage so here we know expenditure is in the ratio 16 is to 12 is to 9 that means 80 percentage is equal to 16 75 percentage is equal to 12 and 60 percentage is equal to 9 here income is 100 percentage that means if 80 percentage is equal to 16 what will be 100 percentage if 80 percentage is equal to 16 then 100 percentage will be 16 by 80 into 100 16 into 5 is equal to 80 5 into 20 is equal to 100 so x salary will be 20 parts because 100 percentage is equal to 20 parts same way if 75 percentage is equal to 12 75 percentage is equal to 12 that means 25 percentage is equal to 4 so 100 percentage will be 4 into 4 16 so 16 parts is y salary same way 60 percentage is equal to 9 that means 20 percentage is equal to 3 so 100 percentage will be 5 into 3 15 that means 15 part is 60 percentage either you can do this way either you can do or you can do this way this is easy so here you know 20 and 16 and 15 are the salaries of x y and z so 20 plus 16 plus 15 is equal to 51 parts that is equal to total income that is 3060 that means if 51 parts is equal to 3060 then one part will be 3060 divided by 51 that is 51 into 6 is equal to 306 so 0 will come here so one part is equal to 60 so y salary y salary is equal to 16 parts that means 16 into 1 part is equal to 60. So 16 into 6 is equal to 6, 6 are 36. 6 into 1, 6 plus 3, 9. So 960 will be your answer. So option A is your answer.